Greetings. This is the Red Corners Ukrainian Conflict Situation Report. September 28 to 4 October, 2022. During the period, the following developments have taken place in the theater of operations. In the Kupiansk sector, the Ukrainian troops have been gradually expanding the stronghold on the eastern bank of the Oskol River. With the control over Petropavlovka, the Ukrainian grouping is moving towards the Russian troop supply route to Svatovo. Ukrainian sabotage groups are conducting repeated attacks at the Russian logistics convoys on other roads as well. Russian counter-reconnaissance units neutralize them. In the Krasny Liman sector, Ukrainian troops have been methodically encircling the Russian garrison inside the town. They were able to close the loop near the village of Zarechnoya. Russian command promptly transferred four support battalions to unblock the surrounded units and to secure the supply route connecting the town of Kremenaya and Zarechnoya. Russian troops pushed the Ukrainian grouping out of Zarechnoya, although later the command made a decision to withdraw from there to Kremenaya and to establish a new line of defense from Kremenaya to Svetovo. The Ukrainian troops have been using the new staging grounds to prepare for further offensive. Spurred by their tactical success, Ukrainian troops began a massive offensive in the Nikolaev Krivoy Rog sector. Near Andreevka, a Ukrainian grouping comprised of up to 100 combat vehicles, attacked the village of Davidov Broad in an important supply route in the area. Russian troops were able to stop the onslaught and inflicted serious damage on the opponent. Having lost over a half of their equipment, the Ukrainian troops retreated to the original positions. In addition, Russian aviation struck an area of concentration at the Bereznegovatoya railway station. The Ukrainian command achieved a tactical success near the town of Visokopolye. They were able to push Russian troops out of the village of Algino. In the nighttime, Ukrainian units landed on the Dnieper riverbank and seized the village of Zalotaya Balka. From there, their four mechanized and one tank battalions continued the movement south along the Dnieper River. In total, over the 24-hour period, the Ukrainian troops have moved 30 kilometers deep into the territory and reached the village of Dudchani. There, Russian troops stopped their advance. The Ukrainians have been continually receiving fresh reinforcements in order to sustain the offensive. At this time, they are engaging the Russian units north of their current positions. Russian President Vladimir Putin has signed a decree on joining the LPR, DPR, the Kherson, and the Zaporozhye regions to the Russian Federation. Now, the residents of those areas have officially become Russian citizens. Any act of aggression towards these regions is now considered an aggression against the Russian state. It is clear that despite the temporary tactical setbacks, the Russian leadership will continue to do whatever it takes to protect those territories. And that was the view from the red corner. Have faith. Stay calm and keep going. Next report is coming up in six days. Thanks for watching.